What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another RuneScape video. So as soon as I click away here or scroll or whatever, um, it's going to zoom out. But let's take a look real close. I finally got Seismics. I can't believe it. I had to sell my Noxbow, my Ascension, uh, a lot of uh, ingredients to make different potions, um, a lot of my drops that I was saving up. And uh, I was just taking a look and I noticed a couple days ago actually that the seismic wand didn't drop so much in price and the singularities actually I bought it under a hundred mil and um, I was like okay well you know if I sell some items I'll actually be able to get this seismic wand and you know I'll just use this wand I'll definitely keep an eye on the price to see if it drops more in price because I'll sell it back and then buy it when it gets uh, you know do a little bit of a flip there but uh, I figured I could just, you know, PVM a whole bunch with it and make money back to buy Ascensions when Ascension, because I mean, Ascensions have been dropping back and forth between, they've been fluctuating between 80, around 80 to 90, uh, 95 mil. Um, I actually sold mine for about uh, 95 a piece. So um, when I bought them, they were still going for 120 uh, mil a piece. And I don't know, man. Prices have been going so crazy throughout RuneScape lately. Um, I also sold all my range equipment that I did have other than <clears throat> um, the Ascensions itself just to be able to buy it. And um, I don't know. I'm kind of excited because I've never had a Seismic Wand. And I know that it used to be way more expensive than it is now. But, I mean, I finally, finally got one. And, uh... I don't know, Mage isn't my two necessarily my favorite here at um sorry about this chair. This freaking chair is annoying. Um at Araxor, but since I got it I just kinda wanna try it out since Araxor is probably one of my favorite bosses. And uh yeah, we're gonna go here, we're gonna try and find an empty world. Hopefully this one will be empty. If not, I'll just have to hop. And uh yeah. <clears throat> I also wanna make sure I'm not too experienced with mage kills. I know that it's gonna be uh more than likely melee distance with this uh, pheromone in my inventory I really I don't know I don't I don't like melee distance at all with a rack sword it really makes me angry I really have to pay attention to that cleave and if I don't know what rotation cycle it's on right now so if there's any of those little um, time spiders that uh, Raxor shoots out with a range attack. I definitely have to pay attention to that, which it is. So we're actually going to take the third path then because um, <clears throat> I have I have the middle already. So I need to take the third path. And let's see if there's anyone in here. I don't really know if I'm even too prepared. It's been so long. Enter. Okay, we're going. Ladies and gentlemen, here we go. It's been a long time since I've logged on to RuneScape even, and uh, yeah, wish me luck. Alright everybody, so as soon as I entered in and I started to burn that web, my mind just kind of went into super extreme focus mode, and I really didn't even say anything throughout this whole entire kill, so I figured... Um, I honestly forgot I was recording until about halfway through the fight and I was like, oh wow, I didn't say anything. So I figured I might as well just go back and do a little commentary after the kill itself. Uh, it gives me a little bit of an opportunity to talk about my first feel on Seismics because this is the first time I've ever played RuneScape while uh, using dual Seismics. And I like them. Um, I, you definitely see a lot of bigger numbers with the Noxious Staff. Um, especially with the uh, aura that I'm using and the supreme overloads and the uh, uh, man I forgot turmoil curse not is it is it anguish for the uh, the curse for the mage ability one of the two either torment turmoil and anguish um, it's it's decent um, I know that probably um, monsters with lower defense would uh it would work better slayer i feel like it'd be pretty good um it does have some nice combos it's a lot of constant small hits uh that's what i was just noticing at a or and i really wasn't i mean i didn't even pay that much attention to it just because i was 
focusing so much on trying to do this kill. It was pretty sloppy. Uh, like I said in the beginning of the video, I I hadn't logged into RuneScape in a long time. Actually, it had been like about a week or so. Um, unfortunately, uh, at one point, my membership actually I hadn't dropped membership in so long. But uh, uh, funny story, my card was actually used. My debit card was used. Uh, somewhere in Florida or something some fraud protection agency uh, oh, well not some the one that's partnered with my bank got in contact with me and said hey was this your transaction and I was like nah and so my card got cancelled and by the time that I found out and got a new one it my card had, um, or my RuneScape membership needed to renew but it could not do that. So unfortunately, I lost out on some loyalty points. But I'm not tripping out too hard about it. I'll just have it regained uh, in the future. Um, back to these seismics. Hopefully, uh, they won't drop in too much price from what they are now. It would actually be pretty nice if they went up in price and then uh, dropped again. That way I could sell them real quick and then buy them back for cheaper. That would be nice. Um, I just realized this was my first time actually going and... PVMing, I'm pretty sure with the uh, with the shadow drag. I might have actually gone before. It looks pretty cool. With I, I really like it. I can't wait till it's fully grown. The thing's hu ridiculously huge. Um, I'm just trying to think of what all I can really even talk about throughout this whole entire fight. I might end up speeding it up from here. Um, the drop I got wasn't even too any too anything too impressive. It was actually really cheap. Sadly. Um, I used a lot of food, a lot of food. Um, I don't know. I mean, I probably could have done some uh, different. I didn't use my shield at all until the end to keep up my adrenaline. If I would have used more shield abilities, I would have used a lot less food. But I just there's so many. I forgot to do a bunch of anticipations and uh, break free to, uh, freedom abilities uh, constantly. I was having such a hard time remembering. It's been so long. I've been playing a lot of zombies, and zombies is just so simple and straightforward. You know, you just run in circles and uh, go and get perks from perk machines, and that's it. Like, your biggest worry is getting a nice weapon out of the box and hoping that when you turn around, there's not going to be a zombie right there in your face. This, there's so many different buttons you have to push. I, I once heard someone say it's like playing a freaking piano on your keyboard. And it really is with all the different keybinds that you have, and then with having to click, moving your screen around, paying attention to what attacks are hitting you. There's a lot to these uh, RuneScape bosses, and that's why I really like it so much. That's really why I like Nex. I don't know too much about other bossing mechanics at other places. I'm a noob at KK. I've never even gone to Virago, never done uh, Rots. I really want to. It'd be a lot of fun. I definitely need to do more research. But there's so much. I mean, just the fact that. Araxo itself has three different phases and three different paths that you can choose from. Um, two at a time, though. If you guys know anything about Araxo, you know what I mean. It, the boss has been out for quite some time now. I, I wouldn't imagine that if someone's looked into this boss, that you don't know too much about it because uh, most of the mechanics have been pretty much figured out. I think all of them. I know when it came out and there was like a couple months that went by, they said that there's still so much that we don't know about this boss. But I don't know. I have Since I've been killing it, I haven't seen anything uh, too new. I think I'm getting really close to uh, about 100 kills too um, on Araxi itself. So hopefully I'll get, uh, get pretty lucky with those leg drops because I just want, especially since I bought this Seismic Wand, it would be really nice if I could... Uh, make a leg relatively soon before it drops much more in price because I'll be able to get my ascensions back and that's uh, kinda hurt me right now I, I really didn't want to have to sell my ascensions but I was like there's no way I'm gonna be able to come up with an extra 180 mil within the short amount of time because I really just didn't want the uh, price in seismics to go up because already when I was looking last night I just randomly decided to check uh, I saw it, it said about 383 mil, and then when I went to go um, look today, it was uh, the GE asking price was 387 mil, and I didn't even get it for that. I got it for 393 mil. 
I think. And I waited for some time. I put in a couple different offers. I even did a couple different low ball offers before. And um, I, I did 390 even. And then I waited for so long with it at 390 mil. And I was like, come on, I really don't want to spend any more than that. Because as you guys can see, that's my cash stack in that bottom right hand corner. That's so low. I'm used to always seeing those green numbers. But. It'll, it'll happen. It'll happen again. I'll definitely get my ascensions back. I'm really hoping that I can get money in time that way when ascensions drop because I'm pretty sure they're going to drop back to about 84 mil or so. And I'm hoping to be able to buy them back because that's about 10 mil cheaper than... Um, basically, I would have made 10 mil by selling them even though I bought the size mix. I sold the ascensions for about 95 mil a piece. So if I could buy for 84 mil a piece... Well, there you go. That was a nice little, nice little strategy there. <clears throat> uh, if you guys, I'm sure you guys know who Justice RS is. If not, go check out his uh, um, YouTube uh, channel. He's a way better YouTuber than I am. Uh, his thumbnails are really nice as well. His PVMing videos are flawless in my opinion. Really entertaining. He live streams a lot. But anyway, uh, that that fool got so lucky on a on a flip. He bought a yellow party hat. I forgot how much he bought it for, but then he ended up selling it like the next day or the day after, uh, two days after, and for an extra 200 mil. So he straight up merged 200 mil off of one item. That's so sick. And then sure enough, two days after he sold it, it straight just plummeted. <laughs> like, I mean, he could have even bought it back and still have made 200 mil. That's so so nice. I wish that I had that amount of cash to mess with. Which I, I by selling and having that 400 mil cash stack before I bought the. Uh, actually, no, it was, it was a 500 mil cash stack when I bought the the sing the singularity first. Actually, it was just right under 500 mil. And that that's a nice little cash stack to to work with flipping items and whatnot. But I really wanted the seismic wand in singularity. And the thing is, I already I I have it now, so. If prices start to drop a little bit more, I can sell it, and I'll still have a decent cash stack to be able to buy back noxious weapons and whatnot. Um, I really want to get all tier 90 weapons, so that's including a noxious scythe, noxious bow, and a noxious staff, as well as ascensions, and I have seismics now, so that's all I need because I have dries and size. That's that's what I got. Um, what I got to do all my Slayer tasks and PVM tasks with, so hopefully, ooh, that was a dirty cleave. Um, yeah, I think I'm just gonna leave off the commentary here because I really have missed a few anticipations. Uh, yeah.